Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to a new video of me, Fuzzball 40. As always, if you are new around here, please do consider subscribing down below, clicking that like button and commenting down below. It all helps towards the growth. We are nearly at 7,000 subs now. Thank you so much for support. We only hit 6,000 a couple of days ago. We are growing like mad, so thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of that. But this is episode 3 of 0 to 2 million. I'm recording it 0 to 2 million now because I'm almost certain we're going to hit 0 to 2 million in the 10 days we're going to be doing this. I'm grinding my backside off for this. But do not forget, this, these, these 2 million coins are not my 2 million coins. They're 2 million coins that are going to you guys. One of my subscribers will be getting this account completely and utterly free. That's for Xbox. We're going to do the exact same thing afterwards on PlayStation 4. And one of you will get that account for free. My way of saying thank you for the support that you guys are doing. And maybe it will help you guys to sort of get through this sort of quarantine period. If you've got a decent account you could be using. In the last episode, I completely forgot to put in the part where I tell you the number. So what you are doing is every episode, you've just got to get the number from that episode. And it will, at the end of it, at the end of 10 days we're going to be doing this for, I will ask you guys for the number basically that adds up. So for example, in the first episode I gave you a number. The second episode number was supposed to be number four. So that is the number you want for the second episode. It's supposed to be number four. So you want to add that to the number from the first episode and the number for this episode, which will be coming in a minute. Lad, ZJ Don, thank you for the find. follow on Twitch. And do not forget, lads, if you want to watch me do this live, click the link down below, come over to Twitch, and make sure you check out foottrading.co.uk. But I digress. This video is a weird video for, for me because while I want to show you what I'm trading with, which I'm going to do in this video later on, what I also want to do is give you guys the tools that you need to be making a lot of coins today. So if you haven't yet done it, come over to Twitch. Our Thursday stream is our busiest. We usually have over 250 people sat in that stream making lots of coins. But on Thursdays, we know in the last episode we talked about silver investing. This is the day today you're going to be doing that on. And I'm going to explain to you in this video how you do it and really go into detail about that. Whilst also giving you guys some tips afterwards after 6pm about what I've invested in, what I've been buying, what I've been selling. First thing to do, look at the club for now. So overnight, you saw us pick up the special cards. Now, again, these special cards, I know what they sell for because on, on foottrading.co.uk, on the website uh, that we have, it, for, for me, obviously, I own the website, so I put these prices together. But we um, have a chemistry sales spreadsheet. And what it does is it tells you the price of players to pick them up for, and it tells you what to sell them for. It's guaranteed profit. You cannot miss out. It's £10 a month if you want to get involved in that. It's really, really good. But we picked up five. Three of them sold. Two of them haven't yet sold, but I'm not willing to lower list them because I know as the week goes on, special cards go up in value, so I'm in no hurry whatsoever to do that. But I digress. We also went and picked up loads of centre-backs in the Premier League because they were going up mad, French centre-backs specifically. Obviously, the Vinicius Juniors you guys saw yesterday. Uh, Bolly here, the Sacco. We've got loads of... What's his name? Is the Diop, I think his name. Yeah, Diop, Lejeune. We picked up loads. We made a huge amount of coins. We're going to clear off the transfer pile for now. And what we have left the transfer pile is this, these cards here, right? So we've still got on the transfer pile something like 50,000 coins plus. So we're at about 320k after two days of trading, which is utterly insane. We've been grinding it out like mad. So now the question mark becomes, what do I do with these coins? So what I will be doing today, essentially, is similar to what I've been doing. Mass investing at 6 o'clock in whatever drops to an SBC, fodder, potentially, anything like that. But I'm also going to leave a good chunk of coins on my account. And the reason why I'm going to do this, I'm going to list some sort of special cards overnight, but I want coins for silver investing tomorrow. Now, silver investing requires patience. That's the first thing you need to know about silver investing. It requires hard patience, a lot of patience, because... What we do with silvers is we buy them when they are cheap on a Thursday evening when market matchups drop. Now, market matchups is going to drop. The question mark is if people hold their packs for market matchups for the Friday foot birthday team. There is a chance they do that. Do I think it's that everyone's going to hold that they did last week? I don't think so as much as they did last week. But the market might not come down enough in terms of what we normally expect to see. But that's fine. You can still invest. What you need to be doing is knowing the price of those silver cards you want to invest in at 6 p.m. And what we're going to do right now, I've done this in the video about a week ago, but we're going to do it again now. For those of you who are new, we literally have about 1,500 of you that are completely new to the channel in the last week. So I want to show you guys every single filter that we give out for free outside of the website. Because I'll show you the website now, for example. On the website here, under buying prices, we have the, the silver prices for Xbox. Now I'm going to list, put these up because you guys know the Xbox prices for, pay, for the Premier League, which come up first, right? So these prices are relevant for today. They are like, they're not relevant for Thursday. This is, I'm filming this on Wednesday. They're relevant for Wednesday. The prices change all the time. But we load it up in a second. For some reason, my computer's doing, going so slow. I'm rendering a video in the background. So my, my video is going massively, massively slowly. Um, there we go. Perfect. We've got that. Um, but basically, this has the buying and selling prices for these teams here, basically. A AFC Bournemouth, Aston Villa. These are not a secret. You guys know all these prices already, okay? You guys know all these prices, so it doesn't really matter. But there's a sell price there. That is a the price they're currently selling for at 6pm. 
Um, and that's going to be updated for you guys on the, on the website tomorrow. And then the buy price is there. That is the maximum you want to be paying, basically. That is essentially how that spreadsheet works. Now, those prices, you can look at those prices if you want. They're not going to be relevant for your video today, lads. I'm not going to lie to you because we change them every day because the market changes every day. But the filters that you guys need, I'm going to go through them now. You need to get a pen and paper ready. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to get a pen and paper ready to start writing these down. But of course, you can pause and play the video as and when you want to do it. But I promise you now, if you start getting the hang of silver investing, you will start making two, three, four hundred K a week easily, even without the website. With the website, with the silvers, icons and specials on their website, if you subscribe to that, you'll be making two, three million a week if you work hard enough. But Premier League, AFC Bournemouth, you want to look at their left backs. Okay, AFC Bournemouth left backs. Aston Villa, you want to look at their left backs and their centre backs. Norwich, you want to look at their, uh, you want to look at their centre backs, their CDMs, their centre mids, and that's it pretty much. You can look at the cams as well. That's pretty much it for Norwich. And Sheffield United, you want to look at centre-backs, CMs, cams, and strikers, okay? So that's the Premier League for you. Again, if you if you missed out on any of that, pause the video, go back to it. You should be, you should be fine to, uh, to see it. Ligon, Dijon, absolutely every single player you see. Full stop, capital letter. Every silver player for Dijon, go for. It's as simple as that. They, they're, they're profitable. Like, no position Dijon doesn't make you money. Syria, you want to be looking at Brescia. You want to be looking at their centre backs. You want to be looking at their right backs and left backs, their centre mids, their cams, uh, and their left mid is what you want to be looking at for Brescia. Okay. Uh, for Parma, you want to look at their centre backs and their right backs. And for that's pretty much. Mm, mm, I'd also say Spau. You want to look at their right backs, left backs, centre backs, CDMs, and CMs. Right back, left back, centre back, CDM, and CMs. All of this will make sense to you in a minute. Trust me. I'm, I'm giving the teams first, and then we'll go from there. Bundesliga, Dusseldorf. You want to look at their centre backs, right backs, left backs, centre cent mids, centre defensive mids, and strikers. Okay. So left back, right back, centre back, CDM, CM, striker. Paderborn. You want to look at their centre backs, their CDMs, their centre mids, and their strikers. And for Union Berlin, you want to look at the right back, centre back, and left back, CDM, CM, striker. So right back, centre back, left back, CDM, CM, striker. Now, their positions. They are silver positions that you want to make coins from uh, with silver cards. It, they are simplistically how you would make coins, okay? But what you are looking for to do is at about 4 o'clock today, you want to start checking their prices. Ideally, you check them as close to 6 o'clock as possible, okay? As close to 6 o'clock as possible. And what you want to do is you want to then note down their price towards 6 o'clock and what they're selling for. So let's say it was 6 o'clock and I was looking at Union Berlin strikers. I'll check the price now. And on Xbox right now, Union Building Strikers are very high. They are 9,000 coins, okay? Give or take 9,000 coins. So I know that in their high right now, they're selling for 9,000 coins. Now with heavy supply, they'll come down in price. You are looking for a 30 to 40% drop in all your prices, not just some, in all your prices before you buy in. That's what you're looking for. Now, if you know what you're doing like I do, and I know what the market, how the market reacts, I know sometimes a 20% drop is okay or a 25% drop is okay, but you're looking for a 30% drop minimum, ideally a 40% drop, and ideally even more than that if possible, if you get heavy supply. So what happens is today is everyone's going to open up their market matchup packs. Now, some will hold, some might not, so it all depends on how many people open up. Normally, you don't have to worry about that. People don't hold. But everyone's going to be opening up their packs, and what happens is, is this Uja here, for example, someone will see him listed for 9, and they'll go, okay, cool, I'm going to list him for 8. And someone will come along and say, right, we're listing for 7.7. Then someone else will come along and say, right, I'm going to undercut that for 7k. And someone else will say 6.5k. And you wait for them to come down, come down, come down, and you buy in at a low point, and you just hold. Now, it's about patience. You just hold. And you buy them, and you wait. And what happens is, especially with promos, we've seen the market rise like mad this week, especially with promos, the market climbs massively. It really spikes, and it climbs up hugely. These guys were down at 5k last Thursday. I picked up a few. They're now at 9k. You can make yourself 2 to 3k on the higher value players. Spell, for example, the team I just told you about, their players tend to be about 1 to 1.3k full stop. So you want to be buying into them at like 600, 700 coins max. And you make yourself 3, 400 coins. That's still 50% profit on top of what you bought. But you wait for that and you hold. And the one thing I cannot stress this enough, do not panic. Order you do it and it's a waste of time. You go, oh my god, the cards didn't come up, the cards didn't come up. It's fine. Just relax. They'll come up. They always do. At some point there'll be a dearth of silver supply and the market will rise. Now, do, do not be the guy that has 200,000 coins in his account and puts 200,000 coins into this and then is sitting there waiting there for two, three days perhaps for the silvers to rise. What happens with silvers is some days we don't get a big market drop, so next day the markets bounce back. You can sell next morning. 
Some days the market has bounced back, but not quite enough. So you hold for another day and see what happens. Sometimes it takes three days for the market to bounce back. It's about patience, but your patience is always rewarded with silvers. They are guaranteed to go back up in price. It's a guaranteed thing. You just have to wait and be patient. It's that simplistic. Realistically, it's that simplistic. Use those filters. And like I say, make sure you're checking at about... I try and do it at 5, 5.30 if you can. Get around those filters and write down your prices because you know what they are. You want to hold and then buy back and basically sell back next day. You're probably going to see quite a decent rise into Friday purely based upon the fact that the people are stacking packs for promo for the uh, second team's birthday. So people have to take these silvers off the market. Just be mindful of that. There is a chance that the market comes back up again. So that's fine. A lot of you asked me last time what I meant by 30 to 40% drop off. I don't mean to be rude. It isn't that, it isn't that difficult. It's 30 to 40% off the price. So if a player is, I don't know, 5,000 coins, 30% off of his price is 1,500 coins. 40% of his price is 2,000 coins, right? So 1,500 coins, 2,000 coins off of a 5,000 coin player. But ideally, you buy below that still. You want to get as low down as you can. Don't, and, and the major rule, there's only one major rule, do not buy loads of the same card. Because that player doesn't rise, you're waiting for ages. You want to spread your bets across all those filters I've just given you. And that's the best way to make coins off of silvers. That's a bit of information for you for today because you're watching this in the morning when this, when this, when we buy into silvers. And I want to make sure you guys have that knowledge. What we're going to be doing on this account today, essentially, is again, investing at 6 o'clock, seeing what we can hit up at 6 o'clock. I'll be coming back to you after 6 to tell you what we've done. And you guys will see this in the morning and be able to still go in and buy out. I know a lot of you love the LaGuardia shout I gave you the other day. I know a lot of you love the um, Premier League centre-backs I gave you yesterday. And the uh, Brazilian uh, wingers. You guys were very happy with that. I got a lot of DMs on Twitch and on Twitter, sorry, saying... Like, thank you so much for that. I made 50k. So I'm pleased to hear you're making coins. That is what I am here for. But I will be back with you guys after 6pm. I know it's been a very, very long intro. But realistically, you guys need to know this information because it helps you make a lot of coins. And again, if you were the guy that is doing this video, um, and sort of doing this series alongside my League FPC series and doing it with me, this will massively help you. But yeah, I will see you after 6 o'clock. Once we know what has come out and what there is to make coins off of, I will be right back. Before I come back at 6 o'clock, I'm going to give you guys today's number. Today's number is going to be the number 1. The number 1 is today's number. So put that with the number from the first episode. And if you missed it earlier on, I didn't put the episode, the number in the second episode by accident. So apologies for that. But the number for the second episode is number 4. Make sure you add number 4. Number 1 for today's episode. Add those two numbers to the number from the first episode. Again, when I asked you guys in the last episode to comment down below, one of you will win the account as long as you've got the right answer from the, all, adding all the numbers up. But yeah. Let's get into 6 o'clock drop. I will see you in two minutes. All right, guys. So EA released content today. Um, EA didn't release content today. Let's be honest. Um, flashback of Delta Rabbit. Like, so I grew up watching QPR back in the day. Love this guy. 70 stamina. Are you for real? Like, completely unusable at this point in the game. Just, it's not good. No real hype around him. And EA also released a weird pack. It's not a bad pack. I'm not going to sit here and slag it off and say it's a terrible pack. But I just don't get the point in this. So it's not actually a bronze player pack untradeable. It's a five rare gold pack with one bronze player in it. And I just don't get it. I don't get it. Like, it's a bit meh. Like, I don't, I don't, really, I don't really get it. One of the guys in my chat just said he got uninstalled in this pack. Yeah, he's trying to tell him something. Lol. I just don't really get what the point in this is at all, if I'm honest with you. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you now. I picked up a Hazard. So if you have a look. Nah is I'm going to start trading with special cards. Now, I'm not going to go into massive detail for you about how to trade with specials. That will come when we've got a bit of a bigger budget. But I'm going to be trading with special cards today because it's probably an easier way for me to make coins overnight, try and sort of bang up the, the, the amount that we're making. Like, I don't really want to be sitting there sniping out players like these again tonight. I want to like to maybe a bit more chill trading. Might see the, the coin total not go up as much, but I'm going to be picking these up. But this Hazard I picked up for 38k earlier on. I'll show the, ch the, the chat and on my stream how to trade with special cards. So we picked him up for 38, we'll sell him for 44, he should sell overnight. But again, we're just going to pick a few up. As the week goes on, they should get more and more expensive because essentially with special cards, they're cheaper on a Saturday, it's not cheaper on a Saturday, liar. Cheaper on a Sunday evening, Monday, and they sort of get go up sort of slightly in price as the week progresses towards weekend league. So we've been picking up the special cards tonight, hopefully selling most of them overnight. If we don't sell them all overnight, then we'll list them overnight um, next day and we'll just keep the, the sort of grinding that out. But I need to leave myself some coins, obviously, for mass investing in silvers tomorrow, like I've shown you guys on this video so far. So I'm going to go and trade with some special cards. I'm going to show you guys any decent pickups as I pick them up throughout the night. I will let you know what we pick up, and I will see you very easily. We've gone and picked up this Iozzi Perez. Um, he's 22k with a hunter on him. Now, this is what I've shown you guys before. Again, we'll go into more detail in it tomorrow's video. But to sort of simplify for you in terms of how special card trading can work, 
I trade with, with, with Shadows and Hunter. It's the way Dan taught me to trade with special cards because I learned from Dan V273, the guy we set the website up with. Um, he is, the, in my opinion, the best special card trader in the FIFA community. Just my opinion, but he taught me how to trade with special cards. And so, for example, here, this IOZ Pro is 22,000 coins. Now, if we go to my desktop, what I do is I flick over to Footbin and I check what he sells for without it. So you see one for 21 there and 21,500. I ignore those because they're undercuts. He's at about 23,000, give or take, without a Hunter on him. But I also then have the Hunter value on that card. There's a value in, in the Hunter itself. But what we have on the website for you guys, especially those of you who are subscribers, I can put the price in of that IOZ Pro, so 22,000. And it tells me to sell for at least 25,000 coins, right? Now, I'm going to list it for 27, see if we get them sold for 27. I think we probably will. I don't think that's too much. I could probably even try 28 um, for the first hour or two and bring them down if need be. Uh, but yes, yeah, so that's the first pickup we've got so far. So I'm going to go and get that one listed up and I'm going to keep looking and I will be... All right, lads, so we made a bit of a boo-boo. Uh, you guys know I don't hide when I make mistakes because we all make them and it's okay. It's not the end of the world. This Alejandro Gomez, I thought it said 59k on the market, but it didn't. It said 69. I was talking to chat, bought him and I was like, oh, hang on, that's uh, not a good deal. That's not a good deal at all. So I picked him up and I'm going to make a loss on him. I'm going to make about a 5k loss on him, which is frustrating, but it is what it is. These things happen. The flip side of it is I picked up McKinney. Um, I'm, let me miss this guys up. Uh, McKenney sells for about 17k without any uh, filter on him, without any chemistry style on him. So I'm hoping to get 22, 23 overnight on him. So again, he'll cover Gomez off, but it's a bit frustrating. I didn't really want to be in a situation where I was losing coins. Uh, we've got the Hazard and the Ozil Perry still, and we've also still got Matt Doherty on the transfer pile. That charisma sold, by the way, just for reference. Um, but like, there's no constant content on the game today. This is why special cards are good, because you can always trade special cards. You can always trade with them. Uh, like I just showed you a minute ago, look for their price. See the price there. We're going to go into detail in another video, but look for the price they're selling for on the market of a Hunter or Shadow. Check them on Footbin. If they're within 1k, it's a good buy. It's that simplistic. It's that simple. So yeah, we're going to keep picking them up. As I pick up good deals, I will come back to you and let you know what we plan to sell them for. But yeah, we'll get back to you in a bit. I will see you literally in about two seconds. All right, guys. This next deal that we picked up, this David Neres, we paid 16.75 for him. He's about 16k on the market. Again, I'm hoping for sort of 20... 2021 probably for him overnight I'll, I'll try and list 21 again with these cards i'm in no rush to sell them per se i just need to make sure i've got sort of 100k in the account tomorrow for the silver investing so again i'm going to try and see what we can get for him i always when i'm on so i'm on, I'm on for the night now what i'll try and do is i'll try and overlist them for like i reckon 21 is about right on him again i, I use the uh calculator on the site i'm going to try and use list them at 21 see if we get 21 for him if we don't get 21 for him it's not really the end of the world i list them for lower it's a good deal either way at the moment um, he'll only go up into weekend league as well. But again, I'm just, it's, it's a bit of a dry night at the moment. I don't think many people stayed in the game for very long today. I think they came on, saw the bad content, came straight back off again, which makes it more difficult. Um, but again, the deals that are coming up, because there's a certain, only a certain amount of people that are on the game, I think they're, they're coming off the market very, very quickly. So you have got to, got to be quite quick to go, actually, that's a good deal. Like, I think that is a good deal. We're going to compare price on him. It's not, it's not an incredible deal, but it's not a terrible price on him. You can usually get a good idea when you flick through. It's not a terrible deal. Is, is it one that I want to buy? Probably not. There's Gamero at 55. Again, there's a lot there that have like 57k. The are okay deals coming on, but nothing incredible at all. Nothing incredible so far. But I'll come back to you again in a bit once we've picked up some more special cards. I will be right back. Okay, guys. So instantaneously, we have picked up two very good deals. Basically, we bought them bang on what they sell for anyway with the Hunters on them, which is very, very nice. So looking at Kevin Gamero first. We picked this guy up for 49,000 coins. Um... Again, you saw the one I saw for 55, and I was like, nah, that's not a great deal. But we picked up Gamero, and his price was updated 24 minutes ago on Footbin, and he's at 49k at the moment. So again, with the Hunter on him, we're probably looking to sell him. I can check on the website, to be fair, but we're probably looking to sell him for about 55, 56k overnight, which is very, very solid. And then the Angel Di Maria that you see here, where is he? There he is. Picked him up 50k, and again, he's actually quite a good deal, because he's 50k on the market as a standard price for him, with the two that were there. But the rest after that are 53k. So I'm hoping we may be able to push towards 60 for him. Again, this will cover off some of the loss we made on Gomez. But it's a, it's a solid pickup. Now, the profits on these cars aren't massive. But again, it's a case of making coins where you can make coins. If I can make 50k overnight and what is a dry night, not very much going on. Um, in fact, what's been quite a dry day on FIFA full stop, I'm relatively happy with that. Really, the big sort of spend is going to come tomorrow night when we start hitting up the silver cards. I've literally got... 26,000 left in the club right now. So we're going to go and try and get some more of these cards sold. Uh, we'll, we'll try and get one more card bought, I guess, and then try and get some of these sold overnight. We'll see how it goes. I will be right back. All right, guys. And to take us down to the 1K, we picked up this Decore. He sells for 31. He's got a cam card, which actually helps. 
you can you tend to get sometimes a bit more value out of it. I'm going to try and aim for sort of 37 for him initially and see how we do on him. Uh, but yeah, we're down to 1k coins again. But we have obviously a lot of coins value in terms of players in the transfer pile. So now the plan for me will be to list these at sort of every hour for the rest of sort of the evening. Just make sure they're still they're all being listed at a time. And the ones we don't sell is fine. We'll just list them again, up again tomorrow. I will keep doing that. I just want to try and get 100k overnight in terms of sales. Just so that I'm in a situation tomorrow where I can invest in silvers. So that's going to be the plan from here and for now. Um, but yeah, it's going to be the end of the video because that's the trading we've done for today. And I'm not going to drag it out any longer than it needs to be dragged out. As always, if you're new around here, please do subscribe down below. Click the like button, all that good stuff. Make sure you invest in silvers tonight. It is an absolute gold mine. You'd be crazy not to. So make sure you invest in silvers. It's the big stream as well over on Twitch tonight. It's our busiest stream of the week. So come over to Twitch. Click the link down below. You'll be able to get access to the Twitch account. And just come drop me a follow and have fun with us in stream. There'll probably be over 200 people in there like there was tonight. Uh, and as always, check out fittrading.co.uk for all your trading needs. I promise you guys it will help you get better at trading. But for now, lads, I am out. Peace out. I'll speak to you.